I see a rod and reel straight out in front of me. Looks like a little dock demon or something. It's kind of been there a while. It matches the bottom. It's covered in algae. Oh, it's worse than a dock demon. It's one of those little ice rod things from Academy. Tied off to the eyelet, so somebody threw it out there intentionally. Hey, look at that, it still works. <laughs> I don't know why such a tiny rod would need such a big reel. But it still works. I mean, other than being all ugly and stuff, I might clean it up and try something with it. All right, so I've really got a challenge for myself today. I'm out here at this creek. Uh, I even brought my tripod here. Let's see. How did that happen? It's tight enough to move it one way, but not tight enough, or too tight to move it the other way. Anyway, out here at this little creek, and well, it's been really cold the last week or so, and then today all of a sudden it's 80 degrees. So I've got a pretty small window to get out and catch some fish right now. Uh, before I have to go into full winter mode but you know so I thought I'd get out and do that uh, but I'm giving myself even more of a challenge today because I'm gonna be using this uh, yeah as you should have seen already I pulled this out of the water out of the river and it's not seized up or anything it should still work it's just got some caked up line and ugly stuff on it so I'm gonna take it apart grease it up oil it up try to clean it off some and use this to catch a fish see how um, see what happens just have some fun uh, but yeah, actually I might I could probably use the line that is on it but anyway this has been underwater for I don't know how long but it seems to actually still be working so uh, yeah let me get the line off of there and get it out in the water try to catch a fish Uh, first things first, I gotta get the old line off of it. Got a pair of scissors here on my pocket knife. I'm gonna take the whole spool off. See what it looks like inside of there. It could be full of mud and dirt. Mm, it's not too bad, not too bad. And yes, all of my trash is going into the trash. I'm gonna just leave it on the ground. I don't know why people always accuse me of that in my videos. Just because I don't include the part where the trash goes into the trash, they think I'm just throwing everything on the ground. It's kind of, a, I don't know if this is the original color of the line or if it's just that old. It's kind of yellow. There's a lot of line on here, a lot more than I thought there was. Pool is a bigger capacity than I thought. <laughs> All right, so you can see here, finally got the line off the spool, but it's kind of dirty inside. And I don't know how I'm going to clean that up. I didn't bring anything to clean it with. Part of the challenge is that I wanted to do everything out here. 
on the, the creek banks. That'll be alright. I don't need perfection in this thing. Let me go ahead and take it off the rod. Oh, well, that's terrible. <laughs> the rod, the seat, real seat just slides. It doesn't tighten down anywhere. That's insane. Look at that. This will be easy. I don't even have to really do anything. It works fine. Let's see. So this will be a little quicker than I thought. Maybe I'll get some time to fish. Don't have a whole lot of time today. I just, you know, wanted to get out of here and film this. Wasn't sure if I would have time to fish or not. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Anti-reverse still works. I need... There we go. Got every screwdriver I could possibly need in this little kit here. Of course, the one I grabbed is the wrong size, but it works. There we go. Okay. It's actually really clean inside, except for up inside the, the spindle there. But the rest of it inside is really clean. Does need some new grease and everything though. Let me see. This end wasn't supposed to come off. <laughs> Let's see. Put that. Okay. You know what? All these parts. Why did I not bring a rag or something to clean these with? Give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right. I've got the handle or the handle. I've got a towel to clean everything up with. Which, I mean, for being underwater as long as it was, like, it was clearly underwater for a long time. It was covered in algae when I picked it up. Like, it blended in with the bottom. So, uh, for being underwater like that, it's in really good shape. Of course, it's a little pink reel and a pink rod. So, maybe it belonged to a little girl or something. Or maybe somebody bought it as a joke and tried to use it and just threw it away. I don't know about all these are good for. <laughs> Try to get all the grease off of this thing. Grease has got to be bad because I've never seen yellow grease before. So, all right, get that one cleaned up. Let me see. Put some new grease in it. There we go, the reel is complete and done. I mean, it sounds, considering what it went through, it sounds pretty pretty smooth. Now I'll just clean up the rod here. Which doesn't even take much, isn't gonna take much. <clears throat> No wonder these things only cost a couple dollars. These real seats are ridiculous. It's 
basically just an ice fishing rod. There we go, it's done. Now I'm gonna try to find some line and get it rigged up. If you're thinking about getting one of these for your kids or something to get them into fishing, don't. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing out here, but it's all arm. There's no leverage. You can't cast it. You're basically just throwing a bait by hand. Uh, you might as well be hand fishing. Uh, if it's that hard for somebody like me, imagine how hard it is for a kid that's never been fishing before. So. If you want to get something for your kids, get something that's going to be a little bit longer, at least like that. They, they sell kids rods that are that long. Uh, I think Zebco makes a dock demon that's probably like four or five feet long. Get something like that so they can get some leverage and actually learn how to cast. Something like this and those Spider-Man and Barbie rods, they just, they're really, really difficult. And it's not really something for beginners. I mean, unless you're going ice fishing, there's no use in, in getting something like this. Uh, I mean, I know they're cheap, but spend a little bit more money and get something usable. Alright, I have tried several times already to catch a fish on this little rod. And I just, I can't do it. I haven't been able to do it. Uh, but I can't really blame it on the rod. I don't think I've actually gotten any bites on it at all. So I'm back out here. I can see some fish out here. Some small sunfish, big sunfish. Actually, a really, really decent bass. Two of them. There's a bed over there. There's two of them bedding down over there. That's actually why I came to this spot because I knew they were there. Uh, so, yeah, let's see if I can catch something on it. All right, honestly, I would even take a sunfish right now. Anything I can catch on this, but I mean, of course, I prefer to catch a bass, but can't always get what you want. Well, there's a bite. He's on it. I got him. He's actually hooked on. It's, I mean, I'm just kind of skidding him across the surface here. He's not really fighting it, <laughs> but it's a sunfish. Hooked on the outside of the mouth. Figured that'd be the only way to catch one. But there you go. I caught a fish on this rod. And it bent kind of crazy for such a small fish. But that's to be expected when it's like made out of a straw. Might as well be fishing with a McDonald's straw or something. Actually, I think a McDonald's straw might have a little bit more backbone to it. There you go. There's the fish of the day so far. Do I want to keep fishing with this thing and maybe not catch something or switch up to another rod and catch something? I don't know. I would like to catch something a little bit bigger on this though. If I could just get a bass to do that. That'd be good to go. I just spotted a nice one on a bed. Of course, he's not on the bed anymore, but I don't know where to throw it now. Oh, 
Oh, it's looking at it. It's going for it. It's going for it. He's got it. Setting up the drag there. I got him. Got the bass I was looking for. Well, maybe not the one I was looking for, but it's a nice one. Yeah, there we go. Couldn't pick it up with the rod, actually. I had to hand line him some. Barely hooked him, too. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Not the biggest bass out there. Probably 12 inches. Hooked him pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Caught a halfway decent bass on a tiny little ice fishing rod. Now I can retire that thing and never use it again. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Yeah.